Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 9th of March 2018 uh, and we're going to reflect on Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 34. And we're going to talk about love today. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one and besides him there is no other and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that, he answered wisely. He said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Which commandment is the greatest of all, asks a scribe. And what a welcome change from the usual questioner who tries to trap Jesus into saying something wrong. Here is a man who actually seeks a better understanding about the things of God. There are so many commandments. Remember, for the Jews, there were 613 laws that they followed. This man wants to narrow the focus to the essential one. And Jesus answers, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Now what does it mean to love God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength? There are four dimensions to the human being. Emotional, spiritual, intellectual and physical. And Jesus is telling us to love God with our entire being. And then he adds very quickly, lest we make it only about a vertical connection between God and us, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And this love for our neighbor is a barometer of our love for God, because as the Apostle John writes, those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. You'll find that in 1 John 4.20. How do we show our love for our brothers and sisters? By being there for them in times of need. Towards the end of the Gospel of Matthew, we find Jesus saying that whatever we do to the least of our brothers, we do unto him. When we feed the hungry, when we give the thirsty to drink, when we clothe the naked, when we welcome the stranger, when we take care of the sick, visit those in prison, it is actually Jesus we are ministering to. This is how we show our love for God, because if we didn't love him with everything we have, we wouldn't really be able to do all of this. We would be self-centered, self-absorbed people. But when we love God, especially in the manner that he asks us to, we give everything of ourselves to him. Then he in turn gives everything of himself to us, making us people of true love. God bless you.